For this reason, at the very beginning of the session, I asked all the members. I would yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. Uh, I have a few uh, housekeeping uh, things that uh, we're told that she didn't want to be bothered with looking at the venue, that she really liked the high society and to go shopping. Uh, I have a wife too. She likes high society. She likes to go shopping, but when she goes shopping, I pay for it. Uh, the uh, potential host city doesn't pay for it or some committee. So those are some of the questions that I'm going to be asking. Uh, quite frankly, I think it's well known that I've asked that you resign. Your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Thank you. You are now under oath. Uh, we recognize you. Uh, the simple fact is that as the financial stakes become higher and higher, leading cities bidding to hold the games become more and more aggressive. And also some of our members, I would like to say all volunteers and independent, become vulnerable and misbehave. Unquote. To be honest with you, that doesn't sound like someone who believes in the importance of reform. Even more incredible is a comment from a Pakistani member who We concluded that the activity of the Salt Lake City Bid Committee was not isolated. Rather, it was part of a broader culture in which candidate cities provided items of value to International Olympic Committee members as a way of influencing their votes. This culture, we concluded, was made possible in part by the closed nature of the IOC and by the absence of transparency and accountability. Chairman, I'll be brief. I just have two questions. Uh, Senator, um, you testified a few minutes ago. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God? As an Olympian, I've been just as disappointed as a lot of you have of the things that have happened over the course of the last year. Um, but they know that they have to make change. They have to do something different. And in my eyes, what has gone over the last year, especially over this last weekend, they are making those steps to make the change. 